Hey guys, something I wanted to talk about today was um, Flames of War and Warhammer 40k. Now, I got, now this is the Berlin book, which is fantastic because it's got Russian and German obviously because they fought in the Battle of Berlin. And like, rather than getting a codex for one army, as you do in 40k, which this one is just Dark Angels and nothing else, this one gives you lists for Russians and Germans, so you're, you've got both sides right there, you've got heaps of lists. Value for money, I think. Even more so because I got this in the the box Stalin's Bears, which cost me $150, and it had three assault guns, six IS-2s, the Stalin tanks, and four uh, T-3. The, that Russian tank that's everywhere, that one, the T T-34, I'm going to say T-34, and if I'm wrong, you guys will tell me. And that was $150. Now, that's good, and it came with this, and the rule book. Now, this on its own here in New Zealand is like $50, $52. So, $150, I get three things of tanks, which the IS-2s were... 70 on their own The assault guns were like 40 something anyway So it's value for money and you get the book and the rule book which I can't show you because it's falling apart because you guys use ship glue But I mean that in the nicest possible way because that's no big deal because I can just glue it back up because I use glue all the time. It's no big deal. It's frustrating but I haven't lost any pages yet anyway, did you know anyone else have that issue because it would be lovely to know and we should probably let uh, the guys at Flames of War know that their books have a bit of a issue. Anyway, whereas like 40k, I buy, I buy a book, yeah, $115 here in New Zealand, one book, ah, uh, yeah, that's a lot. And then, a tacti uh, squad of tactical marines is, oh, like 86 depending on where you buy it from. Uh, scout squads are probably way cheaper at like 40, 40 to 45, depending, you know, once again, depending on where you buy it from, because here we've got, you know, we've got the local stores, well, a local store, and then there's other stores that you can buy online from, and then they undercut games workshop to try and keep the business anyway. It's probably the same like for everyone else in the world. But yeah, I pay for this book, this gives me one army, X amount of units I can use. It goes into great detail and there's a lot of fluff, which I really like. But it's $115 for one book. And what happens if I decide, hey, I want to use these as something else? Oh, oh no, 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 I, I can't because I've only got the one book. I have to get another book. I could use the Dark Angels as generic Space Marines, but then, guess what? I need the Space Marines one, which, funnily enough, I've actually got, but it's like over there somewhere and I'm, I'm not getting up and going to go. Anyway. Now back to Flames of War, I bought the uh, Open Fire set, and literally everything you need to play is there. I know it sounds stupid being a starter set, but it does. Like these data sheets, are fantastic, they are so handy. Everything you need for your guys is right in front of you. It's awesome. Now that set cost me 120 fantastic value. I haven't even put it all together because that's kind of why I haven't posted like for ages because I've been working on that because it's like oh I want to show you guys these things and I want to go into tactics and all that sort of stuff but I can't because they're not finished so I need to finish those uh, one of the so once again flames of war so I got the desperate measures book um, my local store ordered it in for me it was 50 yeah 50 so, a bit steep, but that's okay. Um, the funny thing is, I actually find the Berlin book more useful to me. You know, I find that one more useful. Um, I like the layout a bit more. But hey, that's just me. Uh, they're both late wars, so there's a lot of units in common. I kind of like how they've got painting guides as well. I mean, the guys are so small that you... The average painter can't get that kind of ridiculous detail, but it's nice that they've thrown that in. And then in the, in the back, you know, all your stat lines and everything, it's 
it's very well done and you know backstory and historical ramblings on characters that were there it, it, it's good it's good it's uh it takes a bit of getting used to in the sense that like you'll pick a unit and then you can add to it and then like submachine gun platoon here you pay you know your points depending on whether they're a guards division or red army other way around sorry and um, then you can have like two things or three things and it you can you can customize to a point and any list has got right, no, I'll go with that one so you've got to have two like a headquarters and two tanks isn't that interesting kind of like 40k here you have a headquarters and two troops same principle but then you can add any of this stuff which means that say I don't want to paint lots of infantry so I'd have tanks, tanks, tanks more tanks and then maybe some anti-aircraft or some artillery or something but then you buy a box of well I did, I, I bought a box of Russian infantry and that is taking me forever to paint because they're this big and there's like a hundred and something of them so it's like this and then oh, just yeah just the concentration just goes ridiculous the other book Red Bear. I like this one because it's hardcover and like it's got maps. I mean they've all got that sort of thing. And it goes, it's got everything you need to feel, you know, an army from either side unlike 40k. So long story short I think Flames of War might be the way to go. Now it also helps, for me personally anyway, that Battlefront Miniatures is a New Zealand company which is awesome, like, uh, here is this little country that not everyone's heard of, and we're making an, well, they are making an awesome tabletop game that is fun, realistic, and pretty easy to get into. I mean, I love 40k, and I'm still going to play, and we're going to just have fun with that forever, because it's awesome. But yeah, more Flames of War stuff coming your way. Anyway, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it as always. Uh, any any comments on these books because I'm sure that you guys have got a different point of view on Desperate Measures. It's a great book. I just don't like the layout. I do. I like the fact that it's also got like you know Romanians and Hungarians and all that sort of stuff between these three books. You know, so you've in a way you've got like five different, at least five, maybe more, of like you know there's Finland and Hungary and you know, you get the point. There's a lot you get out of one book. It's fantastic. As always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you again soon, hopefully. Oh, and uh, Vlogmas this year. We will try and do that. I can't make any guarantees because uh, work is a bit funny. Anyway, I will see you at some point soon.